All right, guys, so we're back. Um, on the 2013 I'm actually working on, uh, there's been a bunch of questions being asked about how we can enable the all-wheel drive gauge, uh, showing which tires are moving, how the frequency of each tire, uh, frequency of the rear end or the rear differential and the front end, the front differential, how it's working, if, the, if you can tell if the transmission is working fine, if the transfer case is making noise. So in this video, in this, uh, in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to enable the, uh, aux, the, uh, audio gauge, the all wheel drive gauge, the aux, the aux we've, re we've already enabled the, uh, audio, which is our audio. If you want to play with it, with all the things, the mods that you can do with Forescan, and this video, video we're gonna do all wheel drive, and turn it on, and really, and show how it's gonna be displayed on the uh, speedometer. All right. So in the last video, uh, or the video before the last, I showed that I've been using this uh, article uh, by Brian'sBench.com. And uh, we enabled the aux, and we're going to in this video we're going to enable the all-wheel drive gauge. So going back to uh, to uh, our for a uh, Forescan page, uh, we have all the modules that we've opened up in the configuration and programming. And going back to uh, Brian's bench, it actually says to go to the IPC and transform this uh, or or translate this code right here this uh all this uh as built to this one right here so that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the ipc uh module configuration but we're gonna need to go to the as built since we're going to be playing with numbers we're gonna go and press okay now uh on brian's bench he brian mentioned 720.0102 uh i've also done this to this car before to this vehicle before uh so 720.0102 which is right now I have it at BA14, uh, and which is exactly we're gonna need to change it to BA140003, uh, 3D38. So we're gonna go back 720.0102, ensure that it's already made and written. Write all. Would you like to force? I'll force it just to write it uh, for the sake of the video. I'm gonna go press yes. Service procedure, all right, since I've done it before. Now we're going to go to our speedometer. Uh, so if you guys actually want to see it, uh, it's going to be in the information near where the coolant temperature. Uh, it's going to be information, coolant temperature. Right above coolant temperature, you have all-wheel drive. So I'm going to go ahead and slam it in drive. And you're going to see they start moving. And the rear starts moving since I'm just going simple steps. There you have it, you guys. We just did. We just enabled the all-wheel drive gauge. How we can uh, see the differentials moving transfer case if it's actually enabling the rear wheel drive, the rear differential to work, and so on and so forth. Uh, stay with us in the next video. We're gonna probably do another. Uh, programming video for the next one if not it's going to be something to do with electrics uh, electricity with the wires uh leading onto one of the modules or to one of the computers that we have and uh so stay stay with us for the series of videos thank you so much i'll see you guys in the next video